Hey guys, this is Gabby from Brain Education TV. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. We make weekly videos about wellness tips for the brain. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. In this video, I will talk about the science behind a simple yet effective meditation exercise called Brain Wave Vibration. You can practice it throughout the day to stimulate energy flow in the body, to de-stress your mind and to boost your immune system. So let's get into it. What is brainwave vibration? Created by meditation expert Ilchi Lee, brainwave vibration is a self-healing meditation exercise that consists of shaking your head gently side to side with your eyes closed and also tapping your lower abdomen at the same time. So it looks something like this. This simple rhythmic movement has many benefits that include reducing negative emotions and thoughts, clearing brain fog, promoting circulation throughout your body, raising your internal body temperature, which helps with immunity, and many more. So how does brainwave vibration actually work? The first step of brainwave vibration is shaking your head gently side to side with your eyes closed. To understand what this does for your brain, we have to look at the three main layers of the brain. So the first layer is the outermost layer and it's called the neocortex. And then the middle layer is the second layer and it's called the limbic system. And then the third layer is the innermost layer and it's called the brain stem. The outer layer or the neocortex is the last layer of the brain to form and it's also known as our mammalian brain. This is the part of the brain that controls our thinking, our analyzing, and our worrying so it can become very tense and tight and filled with stress if we are thinking too much or analyzing or worrying a lot. The middle layer or the limbic system is what governs our emotions and emotional memories so if we are very emotional and we have negative emotions, then this part of the brain gets very tense and tight as well. And then the innermost layer of the brain is called the brain stem, and it's also known as our reptilian brain. This layer governs our fight or flight functions and also our essential autonomic life functions like heartbeat, hormone secretion, sleep, and digestion. So now knowing about these layers of the brain, the most important thing when shaking your head side to side during brainwave vibration is to focus on the innermost layer of the brain, the brainstem. So when you bring your mind's eye and your awareness while you're shaking your head to the innermost layer of the brain, that allows for it to loosen up and release tension from there and then it can move on to the next two layers, the emotional layer and the thinking layer. But the most important thing is to focus on the innermost layer because that also helps you not become as dizzy and nauseous from shaking your head. The second aspect of brainwave vibration is tapping your abdomen. So if you think about it, if you shake your head side to side without grounding your energy, you can become dizzy, you can become nauseous, and especially if you're thinking a lot. And so when you're doing brainwave vibration, you can roll your hands into two small fists and then use the pinky side and gently tap into one location, two inches below your belly button. So one spot and gentle tapping. This will help to ground and anchor your energy and bring your energy into your body. An added tip while doing brainwave vibration is to keep your spine straight and relax your jaw a little bit because if you relax your jaw, then your mouth can open a tiny bit and then you can remember to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and also relax your brain a little bit more. And the best practice for brainwave vibration is to find a quiet space so you're not distracted and then to do it for about five minutes. You can do it a few times throughout the day, but five to 10 minutes is the recommended time. 
You can do it in the morning when you wake up to help you wake up more and to raise your internal body temperature. Or you can do it at night before you go to sleep to reduce stress and fatigue and clear your mind after a long day. So what do you think? Have you tried brainwave vibration before? Are you interested in trying it? If you have, please leave a comment below about your experience. I will link a video on this page and down below of a 10 minute routine we have made on this channel for you to try this routine on your own. But I hope this video was helpful in understanding the science and background behind brainwave vibration and its benefits. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, concerns, questions, please leave them down below. We look at all the comments and answer them. So thank you so much. I'll see you in another video.